It's a good start no matter what happens. When you end up having a week where you beat Clemson out of the ACC and you are able to beat the defending champions in the Big South Conference, Cole Hallam, it's not just a great start for USC Upstate. It's an undefeated start at 11-0. They're one of the best early stories in the country in college baseball. They are. They, they looked fantastic last night. It's, it's no wonder why they've started off this year 11-0. They're great on the mound. They're great at the plate, and they're great defensively. This is a team that's really got three all three aspects of the game, and, and they're rolling high right now. And, and really, Campbell's got their work cut out for them on this doubleheader Saturday. It's Campbell versus undefeated USC Upstate. Hello, everybody. Welcome into Jim Perry Stadium with the All-American former Big South Conference Player of the Year, Cole Hallam. I'm Chris Haymeyer. Last night, USC Upstate, they've earned the respect of everybody now, beating Clemson early this week and beating the back-to-back -back defending champions. It was a 6-1 to -one game that USC Upstate led from the very beginning. Campbell, defensively, Arias is at third base, Wolf at shortstop. Neto playing first base today, and at second is Arnold. That ball is smoked to right field, but right at Harris, a back pedal and a catch for out number one. A nice job there by Harrington, establishing fastball early, able to get down in the strike zone. Matthews, and he's exactly right. Very much a special talent at shortstop, and the bats definitely come along as well. He's hitting 373, no home runs, 12 RBIs, but slugging 540 and on base of 436. This is a team coming in upstate. Their on base percentage as a team. Nearly 42%. And on cue, Matthews rips one to left. That was just a great at bat by a leadoff guy that knows how to get on base. It's having a sensational start to the season. That's right. And, and when you're rolling hot, it, the hits just seem to come. And, and right there, not fooled on the breaking ball, able to stay through it and rip that single into left field. So Upstate was something cooking again here. He had his kids, so this is home for him. He came back down here and... Garbrick was one that he brought with him to Moorhead State. That's a soft fly out to the shortstop for out number one. But, boy, Garbrick hardworking in the weight room. They said that is not what you see on the mound right now is not what he had at Moorhead State. He's put on about 25 pounds on the weight room. For you. He does, and he's a guy that was a, you know, a very good hitter early on at young, in his young career at Campbell. And just his struggle this year as he pops that one up, struggle to find it, that's going to put him – to about one for 15 on the year but it's early he's got to understand that you know things like this happen a good buddy of mine Matt Parrish started surprising considering he hasn't logged much time over there at first base they're going to roll that an infield single so the fourth hit of this fourth inning back to the top of the lineup and Jason Matthews Campbell trails three nothing ripped right at Arias for the final out of the inning but the damage is done. Gallagher and McIntosh get on. Rip rips it over the left field wall. And it's a 3-0 upstate lead. Clemson, that's not a huge surprise when you see the guys that they're running out there on the mound. Ground ball up the middle will score a run. Matthews makes the out, but Wolf does his job, get the RBI, and Campbell cashes in on the leadoff double. On the board, trailing 3-1. They have done very well in shoring those up. The 2-2. Two -two. Ground ball to Wolf. No defensive problems there all year. Colin Wolf is a vacuum cleaner. 